guys, my name is Chris Shadogs to Bomb Bob Belt for Theme Park News, and welcome to another Halloween update. Now, today we're going to be talking about Universal Halloween Horror Nights 2020 because even though the event has been cancelled, there's a big rumour going around at the minute recently, just recently, in fact, that a couple of mazes could be coming in in, a, you know, in about a week's time. Uh, so we're going to talk about all of that. It came from a Screamscape article, so it is just a rumour. Take with a pinch of salt. Uh, but I'm going to talk about it in this video. I just share my thoughts on whether it's true or not, whether it could be true. And, uh, of course, talk about, you know, Universal Horror Nights in general. So uh, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, social media. Make sure you share it all around. All the links are in the description down below for my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, my TikTok, and my second YouTube channel talking about Donkster Rovers. And, of course, talking about uh, sports in general. And for now, guys, let's talk about what I've spotted in terms of rumours on Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Orlando. So... We have an official story from Escape Authority on Facebook. I know Facebook's not the best source. But, according to Screamscape's article, while Universal Orlando has not confirmed anything, um, they have a scoop to share on the Facebook page of Escape Authority regarding the plans to open two of the mazes built for Horror Nights 30 to park guests soon. Now, according to the post, the maze will open starting on Saturday, September 19th. And as we posted as a rumour yesterday, they report it will be two of the non-IP haunts created by Horror Nights creative team. One theme to the Bride of Frankenstein, so that'll be called Universal Monsters The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. And uh, Revenge of the Tooth Fairy, based on the Tooth Fairy theme. So this will start on weekends, and if it all goes well, it very well will expand on something open on weekdays as well. Possibly following the typical schedule you'll see for Horror Nights moving through October. Now, according to the post from Escape Authority, there'll be no upcharge to visit the mazes, but you will have to use the virtual queue system to gain access. Now, as previously mentioned, it's expected to just be those two mazes, but there is always a chance plans will change, or they may opt to open another maze or two, or possibly even rotate. But for now, this is less likely. And uh, if they do not opt to open more, there will be more non-licensed IP creations before they add. Uh, but as I mentioned before, there is one IP maze built that will not return next year that could possibly be added before it is lost forever. Now this one is themed to musician Billie Eilish and apparently the reason it won't return in 2021 is because Billie Eilish's personal theme slash branding uh, will be changed to something not dark in quotations before Horror Nights 2021 rolls around. So that's Horror Nights 31. Uh, in 2021. As I previously said, this will not be seen as a huge loss to most, but to the biggest Horror Night fans out there, this is seen as potentially a white whale. An exclusively credit to be had by very few if they indeed do opt to open it, however briefly. But we stress, don't count on it happening. This is just something to keep your eyes on in case it does. So there we go, that's talking about what could potentially be happening for Horror Nights 13. Now, of course, nothing's been confirmed from Orlando. Uh, they've come out, they've not come out and said anything as of yet. Uh, but the rumour, just to sum all that up, uh, Revenge of the Tooth Fairy and Universal Monsters, The Bride of Frankenstein Lives, could potentially be coming in September 19th on the Saturday uh, for weekends only, possibly expanding to weekdays if they decide to go ahead with this a bit further. No upcharge, virtual queue system. And uh, just testing some of the maze, a couple mazes out, you know, just to test the Halloween period uh, a bit more uh, around Orlando during these COVID times. Now, I, I've, I'm not going to lie, I love Universal Orlando, absolutely love it. I haven't been yet, but I love the parts to pieces, right? But I do have a bit of a beef with them. Um, not obviously not, you know, publicly, but you know, I've got a bit of. I, I personally think I've got a bit of beef to share with them, and that is the fact that. They're not socially distancing on the rides. They might be trying to distance people in the queues, but in terms of the rides itself and sitting next to people in different groups, they're not they're not socially distancing them anymore, according to a report. And that's stupid, absolutely stupid. I don't want to go into a rant about it because you know I don't want to, you know I don't want to be, you know, critical of Universal. You know, it's bad. It's bad. You have to social distance on the rides as well. As long as it's COVID safe, you have to socially distance on the rides. And, you know, 
I, I just think that they're just breaking the rules here. I just think they're breaking so many... Well, not really breaking rules, but I think America's just lighting up on the whole situation because they want the economy back up. But I don't want to be political on this show. I really don't want to be political. I can't be, can't be bothered to be political, to be honest. But one of the big... It's, I, I've got to switch the focus back to Horror Nights because, you know, I'm going to go on a bit of a rant and I don't want to. Because I love Universal and its pieces and I don't want to slag it off, but... You know, I, I, I just don't. I just don't. But looking at Horror Nights there, moving away from all that, um, I do think that uh, potentially two mazes, uh, two non-IP ones as well, so it'd be a good chance to get you know some originality into Halloween season if it does go ahead with the week uh, weekend um, openings. Um, Universal Monsters, Bride of Frankenstein Lives. Sounds very exciting. Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. That's something very exciting and very, very mystical and unique about it. Um, so we'll see what happens with those and we'll see what happens with that. Of course, it's just a rumor at this stage, just a piece of rumors. Uh, so take it with a grain of salt. But I think if it does happen, then it will be an interesting Halloween for Orlando if they do eventually confirm it later this week. So there we go. Slice sharing my thoughts on the potential two mazes debuting in the weekend on September 19th or the weekend commencing September 19th. Uh, for Halloween Horror Nights 30 Orlando. So if it does go ahead, fair play if they go for COVID safety. Um, so there we go. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you go and uh, leave your thoughts down below on all this and about Universal uh, Orlando and Hollywood in general. Uh, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Make sure you comment down your thoughts. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel for more. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers on this channel. Make sure you go subscribe to the other channel as well because we've just hit 200 subs on there in the first couple of months. So, fair play to you. Uh, for now, guys, though, I am Coast Chow. Keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.